Okay, so welcome back to Hero Dotus Gaming. We're on Dark Souls, and we have just beat the Titan mini boss. Uh, headless, legless, slow ass mofo boss. And we are gonna head back all the way to the beginning. We're gonna use that little elevator that we told you about that's for the sorcerers. We're gonna use that and go all the way back and show you how to get a um, corpse that we missed in the very beginning because we figured out how to finally get it. So we're gonna do that. <sighs> okay. And just remember we we just ring the tower and the bell and we killed those gargoyle bosses. So we're halfway through the game so far. And we're just gonna head back real quick and see what this corpse has for us. It might be just a soul, but we are not completely sure yet. And, um... Later on we will be doing other characters, maybe, if we have time. And the only reason for doing that is to show you how to actually fight and defeat bosses with that character's uh, type of combat. With the warrior, it's the easiest. You uh, you just put your shield up and block most of the hits and kind of dodge a little bit and then attack when they're weak. Okay, we're um, heading down this elevator. It'll take us all the way to the beginning. As you can see, our helmet is pretty badass, the gargoyle helm. Alright, and we're here. All the way back to the beginning. Just one quick elevator stop. <laughs> if you remember, we killed the fat guy and his buddy down there, so... I was going to check to see what this says, actually. Oh, it teaches you how to do gestures. We don't understand. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to head up these stairs again like we did in the very beginning. And as you see to the right of the screen, there's a soul over there. And we finally figured out how to get that. So we're going to show you how to do that. I remember all the uh, armor and gear you loot off these hollow warriors is mainly for the deprived since they start with no equipment besides a club and a Tarzan waist cloth. <laughs> yeah, these things are pretty easy in the beginning, they just one shot everything. Head back down, and we will get this soul. So you, what you're gonna want to do is run and jump. There we go. And then you kind of just jimmy your way on the side. Put away your weapons so you don't fall. If you fall, your corpse will most likely be on the edge, on one of the ledges that you can just pick up again. And it's a ring of sacrifice. So we're going to see what that is, see what it does. We have no rings equipped. Um, lose nothing upon death, but ring breaks. Hmm. Okay, so it's like a one free life. That's pretty cool. Alright. We'll um, probably use that before a boss. So we'll save that. So that was just a quick little video of how to get that corpse back there that we missed in the beginning. Alright, and we're out.